Good day everybody and welcome to Pinox Smart Home Installation. If you're new to this channel, please to like and subscribe and please to follow me on all my social media platform. So I have two cameras in front of me right now, a 2 megapix camera and a 5 megapix camera. This one is an infrared camera and this is a color night vision camera. I did review on these camera before. I'm not going to do the review that I did before but I have found new things about these camera. First I'm going to try to adjust the color night vision camera and I'm going to adjust the infrared night vision camera which is which is this one so let's get started so i'm gonna go into the menu of this camera so i'm gonna select camera one and then uh oh i need to type in my password give me a second so yeah sorry about that so i am going to select ptz control bear in mind that these cameras are not pan and tilt cameras these cameras are stationary they cannot rotate so i'm going to select the pan and tilt control and this is for anki's cameras only and then i'm going to select menu and then i'm going to see the menu of this camera so i have video format and i have compression mood and day and night and i have video settings so i'm going to go into one two three four of these settings so the video format is two megapixels at 30 frames per second and i can change that to two megapixels two megapixels 25 frames per second and then waiting for it 30 frames per second at 2 megapixels okay so for the exposure mode we have global we have blc and we have dwdr i don't know what those stand for but as you can see they are doing something to the camera and we're back into global day slash night let us go into that and we have auto mood we have colored mood and we have black slash white black and white mood we can turn on the infrared light the infrared light is off now and we're going to turn it on however i'm going to turn off the living room light as you can see the living room light is on no, the living room light is now off as you can see right here. So we're going to turn it the turn off the infrared light. That's how it is. That's the raw footage. And we're going to turn on back the infrared light. We have smart infrared. Um this will tell you how you want the infrared light to come on. Do you want it come on during the low light? Or you want it, the infrared to come on in full darkness. So we can adjust that by here. We only have three levels. Zero, one, two, three. Three levels. Alright. So we're going to go back. Go back. And that's the day slash night. Now we're going to, we're going in, we're going into video settings and we have image mode just look what this function does brightness we have contrast we have mirror this flips the camera and we're going back let me see if i actually turn on the infrared yes the infrared is on um we want to put this back to auto 
Um, this is the threshold. D means day and N means night. So day to night threshold. And we have night to day threshold. So during the day going into night, this will adjust when you want the infrared to turn on. And this one from night to day, this will adjust the threshold of the infrared light. Let us go back. And we, are, we can actually save and exit. Uh, let me go back into video settings. And let me see is there anything. You want it to stay on high sat. Right, and we're gonna go back. Before we go back, let's go back into that and save. No, let us go back. All right. So if you don't know what to do, or if you mix up anything, we can go back to fac factory, factory default. All right. So let us save and exit that. So we're going into the color night vision and we're going to do the same thing. We're going into PTZ control and then we're going to go into menu. Now this one is a little bit complex so you don't, don't want to mess around this too much. Alright, so we have video mode and we're in 5 megapixels, 20 frames per second. And we're in 4 megapixels, 25 frames per Per second for this to change you have to actually um, save and exit right save and exit and we have 4 megapixels 30 frames per second and we have 2 megapixels 25 frames per second and we have 2 megapixels 30 frames per second and we are back to 5 megapixels 20 frames per second and we are doing lovely now we're going to go to exposure once we're in in exposure exposure mode we're in global mode and we have b l c we have h l c as you can see the camera is doing um doing stuff now inside this room is very very dark it's very very dark don't watch that brightness in there is dark this is a special type of camera it's called colored night vision all right and we have w dr and this one hls i think if you if you go inside here if i walk across here it will look a little bit funny all right so i'm gonna pass pass by And then we can go back to global. Um, A G C. I don't know what that does. Do, what that does? I don't know what that does. Um, let's see this. It's anti blurring. And we're gonna go back. Because some of these functions does not do anything. Alright, so we're going back. And video settings. Let us go to video settings. And image mood. And we can turn up brightness. Contrast. Let's see what this one does. Uh, nothing. I don't know what mirror does already. And we're going back. Smart light. No. I just turn off the light on this camera. I'm going to turn it on back 
it's in auto this is off auto and we can adjust the threshold and we can adjust the light level this is one two three four five only five five is the maximum and we can adjust the threshold and we know what threshold does um it adjusts when the time get dark it it adjusts the timing of when the light should come on on the camera so we're going to leave it in auto and we are going back and to operate this function we have to use the keyboard to go up and down and use the mouse to click to menu and this is actually slash menu and enter all right we're going to go into function i'm not going to trouble these so i'm going to go back and if we make a mistake we can actually go back to factory default all right since we have everything set and everything back in order we're going to save and exit I'm going to go inside the hall, inside the living room and turn on the light. Okay, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching and please remember to like and subscribe so I can so others can see this um, useful video and I hope this video has been useful to you and please be safe in this time and see you later and thanks for watching.